So remember, we talked about that every time we have a request, a web container passes this request through a filter chain, a uh, number of filters down to a uh, dispatcher servlet. So there may be a case where we have a multiple servlets in the application. So which means if we have multiple copies of the same filter for each um, servlet that is requested through the two, there is a chance that the filter will be executed multiple times. Most likely, we don't want to do that, okay? For that reason, Spring has its own class called once per request filter. Let me show you how it works. So once per request filter is a class, it's not an interface, so we need to change implements to extends once per request filter. It doesn't have init or destroy methods on it. It also uses HTTP servlet request and HTTP servlet response, as well as the method name is do filter internal. Okay, we see that everything is correct. We actually don't need to cast anymore and we can rename HTTP request to request. If I rerun this application, let's see if I uh, execute the request, we'll see hello. So the same, uh, it's even simpler interface, but there is a quite a difference uh, where Spring assures us that this logic will be executed only once. So this will conclude this video, and I'll see you in the next one where we will talk about uh, order of filters.